clear where they stand on this tax plan. And Rob, a popular deduction teachers use on essential supplies faces an uncertain future. News 5's James Girardi spoke to local teachers outraged at the possibility of paying more out of pocket. Yeah, guys, some teachers starting salaries are less than $30,000 a year. So a $250 tax credit is a huge deal. A congressional vote later this week, though, may change all of that. When you walk into a classroom at the very beginning of the school year, what you see for the most part are bare bulletin boards, empty walls, um, bare bare desks, everything is pretty sterile. Everything in this Cleveland High School civics classroom, with the exception of the desks and chalkboard, was bought by teachers. Sherry Obrensky has been a CMSD teacher for more than two decades. When I was just starting out in the district, I was making less than $30,000 a year. Um, that $250 would go a long way. On average, she spends about $1,000 a year of her own money buying everything from hand sanitizer to dictionaries. She's shocked the teacher's tax credit is left in limbo. While the House plan eliminates it, Senate Republicans want to double that deduction from $250 to $500. It seems hostile towards average working people. A 2013 study found that 99.5 percent of teachers in this country use their own cash to buy supplies. On average, they'll spend just shy of $500 a year. In high poverty areas where supplies are sparse, teachers spend even more. There are four of us that work out of this classroom. Republican House lawmakers argue scrapping the credit will save millions of dollars. But Obrensky is quick to point out other special interest exceptions could still be included. Things like uh, having a tax credit for a private jet. Obviously, we don't have access to private jets, but our kids certainly can use that $250. Obrensky and plenty of other CMSD teachers have reached out to congressional representatives in protest of cutting this, this tax credit. We too reached out to congressional representatives to get their take on this tax plan. We have their responses at this story on our News 5 app. Reporting live in Cleveland for News 5, I'm James Girardi.